Welcome back to Crown's Crypto Cave and welcome to this next entry within the psychological series. Today, we will be focusing on why do we hate taking losses now? Of course, this goes past the obvious answer. You don't want to take losses because, well, you hate losing money. But why do we feel this way? This series, of course, going for a deep dive into the actual psychological structures that make up these beliefs and why they are very... While they're a very negative belief to have, if you do want to be a trader as a living, as I'm going to make the assumption that if you're tuning into content like this, you're likely focused on technical analysis. And with technical analysis and risk management, we know that at some point we will take losses. So we have to accept that. And without an, accept, an acceptance of it, without understanding why it's so difficult to emotionally accept taking a loss, we could get caught in these very nasty and very destructive thought loops which can quite literally end a career what do i mean by that well sometimes people get into the thought loop of uh well i don't want to take a i don't want to take a loss and then or it's not a loss until you sell which is an even better one um and then and then, and then they hold a position open you know just thinking that they will close it at break even or close it when or, or close it when it goes into profit well that's an interesting that's a very interesting take or sometimes people might do it the other way they might say okay well, I have, um, I don't want to take a loss, but I am a trader. So how does that work if I'm going to be a trader who has to take losses? It's quite literally not, co it can't coexist with your identity, which is going to create a lot of problems with putting you into an emotional state, which is going to propel yourself into making some very emotionally based decisions, which are likely not going to be in confluence with your overall technical analysis strategy and therefore lead to some bad decisions, some bad trading decisions, whether it be opening at bad places, not taking the trades that you should, closing them too soon, closing them too early, closing them too late, all that good stuff. So. First things first, I need to I need to start this conversation going down the first route, which is why do we hate taking losses in a more in just the more general psychological sense? Well, okay, the reason why we hate taking losses is because we as humans are more are more made motivated to not lose something that we already have rather than gain something that we don't already have. So we can use this example, uh, we can use this, this great example where I come up to you and I say, hey, um, do you want this new car? And you say, well, I already have a car, so I don't really want a new car. It's kind of like a hassle. Like then I have to go, you know, register, I have to pay tax on it. I, I mean, I already have one, so what's the big deal? You know, it doesn't really change my life. I mean, yeah, it'd be kind of nice, but I'm not all so, I'm not so gung-ho about it. Now, what if I take your car away and then I say, hey, you want your car back? You'd say, yeah, fuck you. Give me my car back, you asshole. <laughs> You'd say something like that. Probably, maybe not in that, in that sort of same, same, same sort of language, but that would likely be your emotional response. So when we're in a trade and it's going against us, we feel like we are losing something that we own that is ours. And because it's ours, because we have we have we have, our, we have centered our identity around it being ours, and we're going to go even deeper on this in, in a bit. But just as far as the actual money itself belonging to you, you do not want to lose that. You do not want to lose that because you feel like you're losing a part of yourself, and this is going to initiate a very emotionally bit, uh, based um, uh, decision because you will want to you will want to be in congruence with your identity at the deepest core. It is a human sociological fact that going back aeons and aeons we want to always be confirming our identity because that's what makes us feel that's what makes us feel like we belong and when you have the identity of i'm a trader and i'm a trader who makes money or i'm someone who doesn't or I'm someone who who always wins, or I'm someone who doesn't lose. All these things re come back to the same area. You won't. You want to act consistently with that identity because you feel like it's a threat to your identity, which quite literally will be interpreted by your own body, physiologically speaking, as a threat to your being. And you'll be flooded with those emotions, those same th those hormones that result in the emotions of feeling that flight or, f or or fight response getting you into an emotionally driven state uh, an emotionally based driven state which is going to be absolutely terrible for making the right decisions in the moment when you're when you want to be a trader 
So what do we have to realize? How do we get away from this? Well, understand that your being is and your on a surface level, your success can take losses. You can it's baked into the strategy. It's quite literally necessary if you're going to be a technical analyst as far as I'm concerned, even with the best technical analysis, it's not going to ever be perfect. Um, and so how do we temper that, that, that sort of equation while still maintaining overall success, knowing that we have some sort of just some sort of 50.00001% edge? Well, then we have to have good risk management, which means that we're going to be taking losses. So of course, understand that surface level fact, but also understand that on, on a deeper level, taking a loss does not change who you are. Your identity is really just, you know, it's just a person it can't be someone it can't be a trader it can't be someone who doesn't take losses and it can't be um someone who identifies with their quite literal like money belonging to them you are just you and all of those are figments of the imagination now they're they're you know useful figments to kind of have i mean we, we operate in a world where this is obviously prevalent you know you have to you know navigate the natural world so duh, I'm not saying like give up all your money and just say, oh, it doesn't belong to me. But my point is, is that you shouldn't have, you don't want to have that very primordial threatened response, emo that threatened emotional response when you are in a losing position because it will happen. It will happen. And what you, the worst thing to do when you're in that position is to do another bad thing. Remember, even with the best technical analysis, we will be taking losses. Or at least as far as far as I know, as far as I, as far as I've seen, working on the floor of New York Stock Exchange Arc and then abo above the Chicago Board of Optics Exchange, I never met someone who did not take losses. The difference between a professional mindset and the retailer mindset is that the professionals understand that losses are just a cost of doing business, and that is you know that is completely okay. It's about the longevity, the, the longitudinal the, the longitudinal view of trading and of managing risk that makes you successful over a long period of time. So, when talking about this sort of a thing, when talking about this sort of thing of why we hate taking losses, we have to understand that one, it doesn't change us, and two, we can still be successful. Those are the two biggest things when overcoming this sort of fear of not living up to our own expectations of ourselves, which again drive those typically very bad emotional states to be coming from essentially. That's going to do it for this video. A little bit more of a shorter one, perhaps one that one that uh, that uh, that you might want to come back to. Feel free to come back to it. Of course, these topics can get a little bit deep, and I'm sure that over time. When you come back to it, you'll you'll have a deeper and deeper understanding, and that is that is how this is meant to be taken in. So again, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.